And if they think me being arrested is going to stop this, they have another thing coming. I'll be going down into the gas. We're gonna get caught. Hello everyone. So I've finally been released from custody along with the other activists who were arrested with me. If you do not know, uh, in the early hours of yesterday morning, we went into the Cranswick Country Foods Watson site to occupy the CO2 gas chamber to raise awareness about uh, my latest investigation, which was covered by The Independent, showing horrific scenes inside of that slaughterhouse with uh, pigs being smashed in the face before they were uh, forced into the CO2 gas chamber to suffer horrific, horrific torture uh, before being killed. So we entered the slaughterhouse to raise awareness and bring light to the horrors of these uh, CO2 gas chambers. And this is uh, part of a larger awareness campaign that we've been embarking on after the release of my documentary called Pignorant, which you can find on Amazon Prime or Tubi. They did arrest us. Uh, we have been, many of us have been charged. Um, I've been charged with aggravated trespass. We will be pleading not guilty to that charge. Raising awareness should not be considered a crime. The goal and intention of the day was to raise awareness. And we have been looking on the internet. There's been many, many dozens. There's probably a, there could be a, nearly a hundred articles, but all the major news uh, media have covered this. It's been on uh, some TV channels, uh, but the, yeah, many, many articles written about this bringing attention to the plight of the pigs who are exploited and caused immense torture to killed and their bodies sold. What we are trying to do is bring transparency to an industry that relies on secrecy. Now, we are forced to bring this transparency because the industry don't give it willingly. The RSPCA assure products from the pork industry, made from the meat torn from the bodies of animals who have been tortured, that manipulates the public perception about what happens in these industries. When the RSPCA assure the meat, people think something humane is happening to these animals. Therefore, and because of the secrecy of them not this footage not being widely available, we are forced to leave cameras in these gas chambers, to bring transparency out to the public, and unfortunately, sometimes employ tactics like standing on top of a gas chamber to draw attention to this issue. It's also very unfortunate that we are treated as criminals for this. They've seized all of our uh, possessions, uh, like uh, phones and uh, uh, cameras and laptops, and seized our vehicles, which they are trying to hold for an extended period of time. They're treating us as if we're in some kind of drug cartel or we're in some kind of, uh, we're, we're up to, we're, we're involved with harming people or something like this. When all we are, the, our, our intentions were to just raise awareness about the torture the pigs are experiencing CO2 gas chambers. And we're asking the public to, to do something with that information, like to remove their support for these industries. But we are treated as criminals for raising awareness, which is an injustice. So I just thought I'd update everyone because uh, the last you probably saw of me and people who were with me is that we're on top of a gas chamber. And uh, yeah, they once we got down from the gas chamber, they did arrest us all, put us into you know a jail cell for about 10, 11 hours, uh, took all of our phones and everything like that, and cars, things like this. So yeah, it's been a... It's been a, you know, it's been a, a long couple of days, but I just want to also say, even though I have been arrested, even though we have been arrested, it will not shake our mission to expose, educate and fight for the rights of pigs and other animals. Just because we have been arrested, it doesn't mean that we are not going to still legally um, raise awareness and... Uh, legally protest um, because these industries they need accountability and the way these industries thrive is through people not knowing what they do and it is in the public interest for people to know what they do 
and otherwise their business wouldn't do so good if people knew the evil that they're up to. So yes, we've been arrested, but that's not going to stop the campaigning, okay? Um, if anything, um, it's strengthened my resolve to continue to expose these industries. And if they think me being arrested is going to stop this, they will, they have another thing coming because, you know, when, when people see that you're desperately trying to keep the horrible things you do secret, it makes them more curious to know why, why are you withholding this from people? If you've seen on top of the gas chamber, when I was standing on top of the gas chamber, you can see on my live stream, they put padlocks on the gas chamber at the top so no one can see what happens in there. Why are you so afraid of people seeing inside your gas chamber? Why are you so afraid of that? I know why, because you're torturing pigs in there, period. If it was all humane, you'd just have a nice glass see-through walls, wouldn't you? Where everyone could see what's going on. But you don't want them to know because you want to trick these people into paying for horrific, horrific torture. And uh, it's an incredible injustice. We'll continue to raise awareness about it. I encourage you all who are watching this update video to go to my YouTube channel to share the latest gas chamber investigation. It's entitled uh, Second Pig Gas Chamber in UK History Exposed. You grab that one, share it around. They obviously don't want anyone to know, do they? Share it around. So it also encourage people to watch Pignorant. Encourage people to watch Pignorant on Amazon Prime to raise further awareness because the industry don't like films like this being on Amazon Prime and or, or on Tubi. And uh, so we need to share it around so that they become further exposed and we further raise awareness and we help the pigs and we create change, spark change. That's the goal. That's the intention. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. And uh, we'll definitely be updating you very soon.